and this is my mommy vlog here to give you some mommy tips and some mommy talk this first video is going to be the top five breastfeeding questions that I have been asked I hope you enjoy it do not forget to like and subscribe click that subscribe button that is in that corner and you'll get all your updates about every time I post I post Monday and Wednesdays hope you enjoy it let's get started one why breastfeed well doctors sources everybody says that breast milk is the best option and the best way to go in my opinion it absolutely is it's the best thing that that god made for your baby it has everything that it needs um as long as you're healthy the milk is going to be great it's going to offer everything the baby needs in order for it to grow healthy and strong it changes as the baby gets older and just make sure that it's getting everything that it needs in its body um but if you're having problems if you're struggling I too struggled with my first child. Um, after six months, my milk dried up and I had to switch over to Similac. My baby is absolutely fine. He loved it, he drank it as if it was no different. So there are other options. Do not feel bad if you cannot um, breastfeed or pump or offer your baby breast milk. There are other ways of getting it. There are plenty of moms who have an oversupply like I did with my second son and um, offer to sell it or offer to even give it away. So they go online. There are plenty of different websites that you can buy breast milk as well. But if you don't choose to do that, Similac and formulas are just fine as well. Two, will my baby latch? That question is not a yes or no answer it would all depend on your baby after birth while you're in the hospital that is the best time and the most vital time if you want to have your baby latch on to try to get them to actually do that skin to skin is extremely important making sure that they don't have any pacifiers any bottles or anything be and for, for that reason because it is two different ways that they have to suck in order to get the milk to come out of your breast versus a bottle so no pacifiers no bottles no anything make sure that you let your um, nursing staff and everybody know that that you want the baby to latch but they're going your doctors are going to um, say that you need to make sure you're doing skin to skin make sure that you are nursing I think they say like every three hours or or something like that to make sure that they're they're getting it in um also if it so happens to be that your baby is not latching because that was my case neither one of my children latched pumping is also another option you're still going to get your end result that you want which is for them to drink the breast milk but you just won't get that little mommy experience with the baby on your nipple i didn't have that but they love me they still love me so <laughs> it's all good so there are other options but like i said in the beginning will your baby latch it's all up to your baby three should i nurse or should i pump that is your choice me like i said in the last one neither one of my children latched i tried um, my second one did a little bit, but it hurt so much. I was like, nah, this is not for me. So we went ahead and pumped with both of our children. Um, so nursing is a great option. I don't really have too, too much information um, on nursing. In later videos, I will feature other moms that um, ex exclusively nurse and have plenty of advice for you for that. But I know that it's a great option that you have. Um, it's more of an intimate option. Um, you're with the babies with you all the time. The milk is on you all the time you don't have to pack bottles you know and all those things so there are a lot of pros to that but i know there are some cons as well with that being you really can't go anywhere you really can't do anything the baby has to be with you all the time especially when they're small because they have to eat um every so many hours so and if you do leave i know you have to be back and all that um but then you have pumping which is what i did that is another um there are pros and cons to that as well pros are that Somebody else can feed them. You can hand them off. Dad, mom, whoever, grandma, you can hand them off and they can feed them. They don't have to necessarily always be with you. Um, but the cons are that you always have to have your pump with you. You have to make with pumping. You have to stay on your schedule to keep the milk flowing because it's not the same suction as the baby latching on. So you have to pump on a schedule to get it to come in. Um, so those are your options. You can nurse or you can pump, but that's completely up to you. Four how soon will my milk come in and how much will i get now this subject is a subject that i get questions on all the time people ask me because i got an oversupply of milk with my first son and my second son so i'm gonna go slow because i want you to get it when you first have your baby you're gonna get what they call colostrum which is a thick yellow milk that's going to come in and that is all that the baby needs when i first had my first son carson i was a new mom 
I was doing way too much thinking that he was not getting enough food until my nurse came in and said, baby, this is all he needs. If your body's going to produce exactly what the baby needs. So do not uh, freak out if you're not getting a lot. Your body knows exactly what your baby needs and that's all you're going to get. Now, you do need to get on a schedule. Schedule is key. Whether you're going to nurse or whether you're going to pump, you need to be on a schedule and you need to know how many hours you're going to be, how many hours you're going to feed, if you're going to do every two, every three, whatever you're going to do, you need to get on a schedule. Now, for my pumping moms, I was a pumping mom. Pumping is completely different than nursing. There's different suction. You're not doing the skin to skin. The baby's not laying on you. There is a machine that is pumping your breast to get the milk out. So you're definitely going to have to get on a schedule and stick to that schedule every hour to the hour. I myself pumped every three hours, or was it two? No, I think it was every three hours. Um, and I pumped every three hours on the hour, like clockwork. Do not let it go by where you do not pump. Pump, 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 pump. The more you stay on your schedule, the more you're gonna see your milk come in, the faster you're gonna see your milk come in. And you might even get an oversupply. Start storing it, start putting it in bags, start freezing it, start freezing it, start freezing it. Because if you're a pumping mom, usually after about four months, it kind of starts slowing down. If you get lax with your schedule. If you stay on your schedule, you're gonna be good. Other than that, nursing moms, you all should be okay. Um, like I said, I'm not an, I wasn't a nursing mom, so, but I think that you all should be okay just because the baby's on you and you're going to have to feed them. So it's easier for you to stay on a schedule than it is for a pumping mom too. And five, will it hurt? Now, if pain is a kryptonite for you, breastfeeding is not the option. <laughs> And I say that with all the love in my heart because I want you to go all the way and the goal is usually until they're one But if pain is a kryptonite Let's just go and wrap it up. You're not gonna be able to do it. Um, it is something that you're gonna have to get used to I know that they say if you nurse if it's painful, then you're probably not doing it right um, But I don't know too much about that. But like I said with pumping That is just something that you're gonna have to get used to. Um, it's not excruciating pain but it is very uncomfortable to have something it's it's pulling on you so um, that is very uncomfortable so I will say that if pain is not an option then neither should breastfeeding <laughs> all right moms that's my first video top five breastfeeding questions just answered by me from my experience Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informational. And if your children haven't told you today, you're a great mom and they appreciate everything you do. Have a good one.